might put the recliner up. Oh, we! <laughs> so, um, I am in the middle of, oh, I'm trying to get comfy for a start. I am actually in the middle of creating a book on Amazon KDP. It's kind of like my new little side hustle. <laughs> and I'm actually going to do a little bit of a giveaway today because I've ordered some author copies of my first, I guess it's like a, a journal. That's the best way to describe it. I'm just gonna go grab the package. They literally just got delivered today and I'm hoping they are in good condition. Do without that little bit there. I'm just making sure my hands are clean because they're white. Ta da! Here they are. I ordered two so there can be two people that win. So basically, my little journal is a YouTube, it's well, I say it's a journal, it's more of a sort of planner um, as such, but it's not like a diary planner. I feel like I'm not really selling this very well. But yeah, basically this is what it looks like on the front. So it just says, make your dreams happen. 120 pages of planning content for you guys. So if you have a YouTube channel and you think that it might be useful, I'm gonna choose two lucky people to have my little book. I thought it would be just a nice thing to do for everyone because I feel like I'm definitely going to benefit from using this as well. I kind of made it with me in mind and then thought, well, if I would benefit from it, then I'm sure other people will benefit from it too. I've got a vision board and on the vision board, I've got what would you like to achieve in one month, three months, six months and one year. So things that I'll need to learn, so skills to learn, habits to change because actually YouTube is a lot of work. People think it's easy, um, but it's not. So you know, for example, for me, habits to change would definitely be procrastination because that gets in the way of my productivity. Obviously, it's much easier to write it down and say I need to change it than actually do the changing, but it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> so there's things here like for self-care activities as well to list down because obviously you don't want to burn out and also the resources you're going to need to make these dreams come true. This is a letter from future me, so you kind of have to do a little bit of role play with this. So you have to write a letter to yourself as you are now, imagining yourself as your future self, if that makes sense. So imagine it's one year from now and you have um, achieved all of your goals that you set out on that first page. How would you feel? Um, because I've read like lots of books on manifestation, positive sort of law of attraction, that sort of thing. And just this idea that your thoughts become things. And so I thought, well, maybe we could kind of incorporate that into sort of like a YouTube journal kind of thing. So next bit is find your tribe, which is where you kind of think about who your target audience are gonna be and how you're gonna to appeal to them. And then looking at different hashtags and like what topics they would go with. Then there's a subscriber slash follower tracker. Then there's like, the, I really like this page for some reason, I don't know why. But just the idea of thinking of different um, pieces of content. So you kind of put your idea and then um, branch down from that. So I've kind of done it by category. So for example, if you were like a lifestyle blogger or um, you did like lifestyle and beauty, you could kind of break it down into those categories and then think of different ideas that go with that. So there's quite a few pages for that because brainstorming is really important. And then once you've kind of got that into place, I then did some research pages where you have your kind of concept, then you need to kind of break it down. So you need to think about who your target audience are, what the audience will get from the video, um, other videos like within your niche that you can draw on, what elements can I use to make this my own so you're not just copying someone else, what will make the video stand out, and there's like other points to consider that I listed as well. So there's quite a few pages for research. And then the juicy bit, the planning bit. So you actually plan out the video. So you've kind of got, you've done all the research stage and then you move on to the planning stage. And that's kind of like what I based it off as. I almost did it sort of as if like with teaching. With teaching, you have to sort of, you plan, you do, and you review. And so I kind of took that concept and put it into a YouTube planner because actually if you want to progress and make better content, 
The only way you're going to do that is to plan the content, to do the content and then review it at the end. And that's literally what this book does. So you then plan your video out using the video planner. So it's just got like description to do list of things you need to do. The main idea, smaller ideas, any affiliates and sponsors, I wish. Um, where you're going to share it, hashtags you might use, what you might write for your description of the video, that kind of thing. A lot of those. That's like the main chunk. And same with the script planner as well. So I kind of then went into a little bit deeper with the planning section. So once you've kind of planned out your video, you can then write your script. Now, not everyone writes a script for a video. Um, I don't write scripts for my videos. And then at the end are the video evaluation forms. So um, you talk about what platform you put it on, the date and time you published it, the video title, how many views it got, how many likes, the watch time as well, because that's important. You could even kind of break down sort of how much or what point did people kind of switch off? What were you doing at that point when people switched off? Um, there's a section for your favorite comment, because actually like that's one of my favorite things about videos is when you get comments and hopefully they're nice ones. <laughs> Um, what went well areas to improve and then there's like the rest of the book is basically that and there's a nice little quote at the end and a page for your notes if you would like one of these then in the comments below if you put tell me what your dreams are so yeah what are your dreams um, that you would like to make happen on youtube i want to see whether it's actually going to be useful as well like obviously if you do get one you don't have to give me feedback but it would be nice um if anyone felt compelled to give me some feedback on my book it was the first one I made I'm really proud of it I've made I've since that one I've actually literally just um published a it's not anything to do with YouTube actually it's a 30 day gratitude challenge um so I haven't actually I've got a copy of it somewhere um the original one but I've changed the front cover let me go find it so I made a few tweaks to my book because I got it um when I was in KDP when you're creating your books you can, so I'm out of breath and run up the stairs. I need to work out more. When you publish with Amazon KDP, you can order um, test copies of your books, which is what this one is. Now, I have changed the front cover slightly. I did like a diff slightly different design for it. Let's find an activity to talk about. Oh, let's do this one, I like this one. I mean, I like all of them because I made it. <laughs> But, um, I, like, honestly, I'm sitting here like, I can't believe I made this. Um, and that's kind of like what this is all about, really. Um, so, like, on the back, it's, um, it's got, like, the name of my, my company. My publishing company, as I called it. But it might kind of branch out into something a bit more than that. Because I have, like, a section on my blog for this as well. And it's called Not A Plain Jane. There's a whole sort of... <laughs> story behind the not a plain jane thing basically the reason why it's called not a plain jane is because um apparently according to a certain someone i am a plain jane yeah it's kind of like it became like a bit of a nickname because i play it safe and then i kind of i was trying to think of a name when i was publishing my book on amazon because I wanted to create this YouTube planner and I was like, what can I call my publishing company? Because um, I didn't want to just write sort of my name as the author name. I don't know why, I just kind of thought it'd be fun to have sort of like a cool name. And I originally was like, oh, I could call it like Plain Jane. And then I thought, well, actually, people aren't going to buy something by someone called Plain Jane because <laughs> it sounds <laughs> plain and boring. And then I was like, well, actually, let's call it Not A Plain Jane because I'm not a Plain Jane. Um, I might like vanilla ice cream and I play it safe sometimes, but I also have another side to me. That side is definitely coming out more. This is kind of like a celebration of that, I guess, because I have suffered with terrible anxiety um, for a really long time. It is awful. Like, it's just horrible. I can't even go into how much it is just wrecked my life so the fact that i'm actually sitting here um having published these books is just crazy and for some people like it might not be a big thing but for me this is huge like it's definitely putting myself out there a bit like with youtube really part of the reason why i had a channel with my sister and not one on my own is because i was scared obviously i love doing things with my sister and she quite often features on this channel anyway because we're always hanging out with each other um but 
I didn't have that confidence to go off and do my own thing. And that's been like a theme throughout my whole life. I've always kind of played it safe, began the plain Jane thing. And so actually having the confidence to have my own YouTube channel, I was so scared that people wouldn't watch it, that people wouldn't subscribe, that people would hate me <laughs> or something. And the thing is there probably will be some people that don't like it. Um, and that's okay. You know, not everyone's gonna like you. That's fine. I don't like everyone either. <laughs> So if you actually go onto Amazon and if you were to type in, um, I guess like, I wonder what would happen if you just typed in not a plain Jane. Should I just type it in and see what happens? Yay, they come up. So yeah, if you type in not a plain Jane into Amazon, um, my books come up and that's pretty cool. <laughs> Absolutely love doing this and I could spend, I literally have spent hours, I'm not, I don't know why I'm saying I could spend, I literally have spent hours doing this. It's so much fun. I don't know, like, this is what I do on a Friday night for fun, guys. I don't go out and get drunk, I write books on Amazon KDP. <laughs> so this is, this is what teachers do in the summer holidays. Two weeks, three weeks left of my summer holidays now. <gasps> yeah, about three weeks left to go, so I'm halfway through the holidays. How do I feel about that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really proud of the books and the idea behind it. Shall I tell you what I wrote on my um, Amazon? Because I made like an author page for Not A Plain Jane. Uh, <laughs> I even put that I was the founder. <laughs> Which sounds so ridiculous to me, but I guess like I am. So let's have a look. So it says here about Not A Plain Jane. Not A Plain Jane is about the power of embracing your true self and following your dreams. We're here to inspire and empower everyone to break free from the ordinary and live an extraordinary life. And that's literally what I am trying to do in my own life and what I want to encourage other people to do in their lives as well. So it says here, a note from the founder, Charlotte Grafter. <laughs> I decided to launch Not A Plain Jane because I was called Plain Jane as a joke, but it started something more significant than I could have ever imagined. I realized life had been happening to me. I had been in the passenger seat for far too long. I decided to take back my life and now I want to encourage others to do the same. Same, not shame, <laughs> same. God, I hate the fact that I can't read out loud. Each person has a unique story and untapped potential. My mission is to create a supportive and uplifting space where we can explore passions, overcome challenges, and discover our true potential. Whether you're yearning to step out of your comfort zone, pursue your dreams, or simply find your own path, Not A Plain Jane is your companion and cheerleader. Be inspired to live a life that reflects your authentic self. Embrace your uniqueness, unlock your full potential, and embark on a remarkable journey. Together we'll create a world where being extraordinary is celebrated and ordinary is left behind. And that's kind of why these books, um, to me, are really important. So this book here, like, Make Your Dreams Happen, you know, for a lot of us, like, YouTube is a, it's a dream, isn't it? Like, to be able to live your life doing what you love. And yes, I do enjoy teaching, um, but... I would be lying <laughs> if I said that um, to be a teacher for the rest of my days is my dream. I enjoy being in the classroom and I love working with the children. They're, honestly, I've met so many amazing human beings that are going to grow up to be amazing adults and that excites me greatly. But at the same time, I also just love making videos like this and chatting with you guys in the comments section. Um, and online. I am really enjoy making these books. There's like loads of other exciting things that I want to explore in my life and if I can sort of follow my dreams then isn't that what life's all about, following your dreams? But yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I just want like everyone to be part of this sort of community where we uplift each other and we just don't live an ordinary life because Ordinary is boring. <laughs> Where'd he go now?